Hello, military and aerospace enthusiasts. Welcome to our channel, Deep Dive Defense. Over here we take a deep look from unusual angles, which may challenge your mind. So let's dive right in. Today's topic is the K-Bar Shaykan Medium Range, Solid Propellant, Aeroballistic Missile, first revealed in 2022 when it was shown to have already been operationally deployed. While the exact date it entered service is unknown, it is believed to have been in operation well before 2022, given that by 2023 it had already been supplied to Yemen's Ansarallah. This suggests the missile was in operational service before the official unveiling. Its development can be traced to the Islamic Republic Guards Corps Self-Sufficiency Jihad Organization, which previously developed the related Zohair short-range ballistic missile. One technological breakthrough inherited from the Zohair is the Skip Trajectory Endo-Atmospheric Maneuverable Reentry Vehicle. This reentry vehicle operates in the upper layers of the atmosphere, periodically diving into the atmosphere, bouncing back to the upper layers where drag is lower, and repeating this cycle. This sinusoidal trajectory of every lower intensity allows the aeroballistic missile to maneuver before entering the engagement envelope of ballistic missile defenses, converting kinetic energy into a gliding phase to extend its range. Upon reaching a certain minimum velocity, the missile changes trajectory into a steep dive, passing through the dense atmosphere quickly to maintain high terminal velocity, enhancing its survivability against missile interceptors. The guidance system required for this feature must withstand significant g-forces from deceleration, and it is believed that advanced fiber-optic gyroscopes are employed for this purpose. Additionally, the guidance algorithm must be advanced, continuously calculating pseudo-random maneuvering and energy management throughout the ever-changing altitude regimes. Unlike its predecessor Zohair, the K-Bar Shekin uses a steel alloy motor casing instead of a carbon fiber one. This change, although typically heavier, was likely made for economic reasons or also due to advances in metallurgy and high-performance alloys. The missile's range of 1,450 kilometers is impressive for its size and trajectory type, suggesting that the steel motor casing is relatively light due to the use of high-strength steel and other potentially innovations. The K-Bar Shikan is designed to counter the opponent's ballistic missile defenses, flying a depressed trajectory with a low apogee. This trajectory, while not optimal for maximum range, allows the missile to reach its target faster and regain aerodynamic steering sooner than on a purely ballistic trajectory. The missile was first used operationally in early 2024 against terrorist targets in Syria, with a more significant deployment during Operation True Promise, Iran's revenge strike on Israel, where it was the most advanced missile used. The depressed trajectory of the K-Bar Shikan is likely sufficient to defeat the Aero-3 ballistic missile defense system, which cannot operate its kill vehicle under conditions of even mild atmospheric drag. By the time the K-Bar Shikan Marv enters the Aero-3 engagement envelope, it is already within higher drag atmospheric layers, thereby avoiding engagement. While this may not be effective against longer-range exo-atmospheric interceptors such as the standard Missile 3, it is very likely that the K-Bar Shikan was specifically designed to avoid the Aero-3. Given that the Aero-3 is a key component of Israel's ballistic missile defense system, the K-Bar Shikan can be described as an aero-ballistic missile specifically engineered to defeat that system. Although externally similar to the Zulfikar and Dezful ballistic missiles, the K-Bar Shikan belongs to a completely different lineage with a distinct diameter, size, and late-stage trajectory control technique. Its compact size and skip trajectory maneuvers are enablers of its impressive range performance, despite flying on a less efficient depressed trajectory. The warhead, weighing 550 kilograms, is one of the heavier warheads among ballistic missiles in its class. The maneuverable re-entry vehicle, MARV, of the K-Bar Shekhan differs significantly from the earlier Iranian designs seen in the Zulfagar and Dezful missiles. It features a distinctive triconic shape and a relatively blunt carbon-carbon composite nose tip. This blunt nose tip design is not intended for atmospheric gliding, but is optimized for the vertical movements characteristic of the skip trajectory employed. The K-Bar Shekhan is classified as an aeroballistic missile, but can be described as a crude hypersonic ballistic missile that cannot significantly alter its cross-range coverage, so-called footprint. It enters its maneuvering phase earlier and at lower altitude than traditional ballistic missiles. This allows it to begin early evasive maneuvers, 
forcing reacting maneuvering from missile interceptors. Its guidance system is highly advanced, performing pseudo-random evasive maneuvers and final trajectory adjustments to fly towards its true target in the last seconds of flight, unlike less advanced MARV, which only correct for wind to increase precision. The missile's compact size allows its mobile launcher to be disguised as a civilian vehicle, and twin launchers for this missile also exist. The K-Bar Shaykan is the first in a new lineage of missiles from the IRGC Aerospace Force Self-Sufficiency Jihad Organization, including the K-Bar Shaykan II, Fata I, and Fata II. In summary, the K-Bar Shaykan is a special-purpose missile in Iran's arsenal, designed for use in the initial phases of a conflict when enemy missile defenses are at their maximum capacity. Its targets would include high-value objects protected by missile defenses, such as ballistic missile early warning radars used to guide the missile interceptors. While the K-Bar Shikan-1 employed innovative and efficient solutions to compensate for technological shortcomings and create a medium-range aeroballistic missile capable of defeating modern ballistic missile defenses, it is not the optimal solution against more advanced systems. To address this, a new variant, the K-Bar Shikan-2, was developed and unveiled in late 2023. The primary advancement stems from a technological breakthrough during the development of the Fata-1 hypersonic ballistic missile, a small-diameter carbon-carbon composite nose tip that can withstand the thermal and atmospheric conditions during a prolonged hypersonic re-entry phase. By incorporating this new nose tip design, the K-Bar Shekin-2 can utilize a skip glide trajectory, allowing for more significant lateral trajectory changes, a crucial feature of true hypersonic missiles. This glide component in the late stage of flight enhances its evasive maneuvers, countering interceptors attempting to engage it, utilizing the energy defeat mechanism. Unlike the more advanced Fata-1, which includes a sustainer motor in its hypersonic glide vehicle to offset drag during atmospheric flight, the K-Bar Shekan-2 Mar-V lacks such propulsion. Therefore, it must follow a less shallow trajectory than the Fata-1, entering the aerodynamic steering phase later in its flight. However, depending on the adversary's missile defenses, the K-Bar Shekan-2's lower end solutions for defeating ballistic missile defenses might be sufficient. The Desful ballistic missile was potentially designed to counter Aero-2 and Patriot Pac-2 systems. The K-Bar Shekan-1 extended this capability to include Aero-3. With its advanced end-game kinematics, the K-Bar Shekan-2 may further add the Patriot Pac-3 and David's sling to the set of threats it can reasonably counter. The first operational use by the K-Bar Shekan-2 was by Yemen's Ansarala against southern Israel. The necessary range of around 1,650 km is believed to be beyond the nominal capability of the missile, requiring it to switch its trajectory from a depressed on to a common minimum energy trajectory MET. Alternatively, it could use the extra kinematic reserves the skip glide trajectory gives it for increasing its range instead to use the energy for evasive maneuvering against ballistic missile defenses. As reportedly an Arrow 3 was launched against the K-Bar Shaykan 2, called Palestine by the Yemenis, it appears more likely that a minimum energy trajectory was flown. The debut of the K-Bar Shekhan-1 in Yemen was intriguing, especially following the earlier deployment of the K-Bar Shekhan-2. Of particular interest is the Yemeni Ansarallah's claim that the missile targeted a ship, which is a notable feat for a 1,400-kilometer range missile. Achieving terminal guidance capable of withstanding the aerothermal loads of re-entry is a complex challenge. In the launch footage, an aerodynamic protrusion was visible on the re-entry vehicle's MARV, already seen previously on Iranian K-Bar Shikans. Typically, such protrusions are radio antennas for data link connections. However, the shape of the one on the K-Bar Shekin-1 differs from the antennas observed on missiles like the Hajj Qasim. This suggests it could be a non-gimbaled infrared seeker that uses the MARV's movements to change the angle of view, providing a simple and compact solution for the unusual feature. This remains speculative, particularly regarding its potential use in an anti-shipping role. Another possibility is that it is an antenna designed to survive re-entry and receive continuous updates of target coordinates, which are then fed into the inertial guidance system of the MARV. This concept would necessitate a forward spotter to track the ship, calculate its coordinates, 
and maintain a radio link to update the missile until impact. Such a solution would be exotic and unique. Yet some form of terminal guidance would be essential if the claim of its use against a ship is true. The aeroballistic and skip trajectory maneuvers suggest that re-entry would involve reduced aerothermal loads, and a protective cap could shield the infrared sensor until the speed decreases sufficiently. At that point, the cap could be jettisoned, an approach known from the Fade Mobin missile. However, these explanations, as well as the claims, remain unproven at this stage. In conclusion, rather than creating the most advanced solution for unknown future threats, like done with the FATA-1, the K-Bar Shekin-2 is likely a cost-efficiency-driven product, specifically tailored to defeat the currently deployed ballistic missile defenses of Iran's main regional adversary, Israel. So that's all for today. If you enjoyed this video and like our work, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. We will try our best to answer your comments. Your support would be greatly appreciated and motivates to produce more content in the future. Thank you, and have a great day.